All right, so we've got both of our competitors on the stage, ready to go. First match, and it'll be best of three, but again, slightly different than what you see in the live game because right. we're going to see both attacks from beginning to end. Yeah, in the live game, they are attacking at the same time, but here, they actually get to watch their opponent attack, and they get to see whether or not they get stars, certain percentages, etc., and they can kind of use their, that advantage as they progress. Exactly, so slightly different, and first up is Klaus. So Judo Sloth, rather than being on the attack at the same time, is watching, and it does kind of change up the strategy a little yeah. bit, uh, being able to see what happens. And this is our first look at a fully maxed out Builder Hall 6. All right, looks like Judo Sloth has uh, a lot of walls, got a lot of different compartments that Klaus is going to have to go through. So looks like Klaus has his army set up. He's going to go with, oh, nope, Barbarians, some Wall Breakers, Dragons, and of course, wow. Cannon Cards. Yeah, very much a hybrid army. I like the dr the uh, baby dragons in oh, there. Yeah. And I like this base design. The empty compartments like that really kind of throwing players off. All week, these guys building these bases and uh, really keeping them yeah. super secret. They didn't want anybody to see their first brand new base. So here we go. Here we go, starting off with that Battle Machine ability so that once he gets to the wall, he's going to be able to use it again, hopefully. So he's yeah. got the Barbarians down, following up the uh, the Battle Machine as well with the Cannon Cart and the Bombers. Yeah. And uh, let's see how this plays out. Yeah, Battle Machine tanking successfully right now for the uh, Bombers and the Cannon Carts. You've got them in behind, but now they're going to split up. The Cannon Carts have gone Ooh. left and the Battle Machine went he didn't right. go in. So that means those Cannon Carts are going to go down pretty fast on the left-hand side. The Battle Machine goes in here nice. He's going to head in there towards those air bombs. He's going to hopefully take that out, and then Klaus should be able to drop off those baby dragons and have a pretty good shot at the core. Exactly. I mean, you really can see this as a kill squad, the idea to get that set of air bombs down. Hopefully, right. he wanted to get maybe the firecrackers, the archer tower, oh. but... He's yeah, got, and he, uh, he dropped off that. Uh, oh, oh. Builder but he dropped off that baby dragon down on the archer tower while it was distracted mm -hmm. with the battle machine. So here he's still got two left. Hopefully this one can get off a couple of shots on the builder's hall. It's not going to be able to, but he oh. does have two left. That one actually it targeted target, the cannon. Yeah, it went for the cannon off to the right, and you can see obviously he wants to get in Ooh. at least get that star for the builder's hall. So that baby dragon's going to go down quickly and not get the cannon. Not going to get there. He's oh, one the cannon's left. got like five percent health left. Now the will archer trying to deploy this further to the left. No, it went after the cannon again. Mark. After the cannon again. Again. Oh man, that is tough right there. Oof. That is difficult. And that it really comes down to that one tile placement like that. Can you get it, it really to target does. what you're going? And it was so deep, the target trying to get to the builder's hall, that deep into the village. And Oof. that is going get to be it. the end of the attack right there. Oh, 45%. 45% for Klaus. Looks like Judo Sloth made a pretty good defense he there. Did. He did. And that's the thing about this setup. That's the whole thing about the Builder's Village. You've got offense and defense. Yeah. You know, back at home, you're really more focused on offense. Yeah. And here, you know, if you've got a great attack, you also have to have a great you know, setup so right. that you can prevent your opponent from getting the three star. It's going to be interesting to see how these guys do that because some of them are natural attackers and some of them are just better at designing bases. So it looks like we're going to have Judo Sloth going up against Klaus now. Let's see what kind of base he has. Set exactly. Up. Now, what Judo Sloth could do here is it changes strategy completely. Right. Maybe go for some sort of army that's just going to pick off percentage points off the outside, yep. not even worrying about the Builder's Hall. Yeah, so because we'll all he needs is that, that star and he's good to go. Exactly. So here we go. We're going to get our first look at Klaus's base set off to the left there. Right. And again, every base is probably going to be a base that we've never seen before That's because true. these guys working all week knowing how important it is to have a good base set up. Yep, so it looks like you can see his archer towers, two of them are set to long range on the outside, and then that one in the core is set to low so that it can get a little more mm -hmm. DPS as those troops start to break their way into the walls. Yeah, I mean, that's really added a wrinkle here at Builder Hall 6 to have the third archer tower right. like that. And you know, I like the odd number because you can't create, obviously, symmetrical bases. Yeah. <laughs> and it makes for some really wild designs. So it looks like he's going with, um, he has some wall breakers in there, which is mm -hmm. interesting because all of his troops are air besides the uh, battle machine. So I guess he's going to yeah. use that to get the battle machine in. But otherwise, it looks like he's just trying to pick up some percentage yep, points right yep. now. He's uh, just going with the uh, beta minions right now, trying to find those spots where they're going to just be out of range. You can Test see he took out the uh, archer, the archers from the, uh, the hut guard hut right there. Right. Now on the bottom, he has one camp left as well as... Um, that gold mine, but it looks like he's probably going to try and come in from the top left because he's focusing on getting those buildings down. There goes the first dragon, then maybe he's going to yep. get these wall breakers down and work his way in. Yeah, I mean, he's got a lot of units left just to uh, surpass Klaus's attack right here, so you can see it's looking pretty solid. Yeah, that Tesla and, uh, just took out that baby dragon pretty quickly, <laughs> but it looks like he's clearing away here again, and this one baby dragon has nothing that targets air uh, on it right now, so it should be able to move in towards the builder's hall. Oh, check and, this uh, out. Check out the uh, bomber on bomber. the bottom left there of the screen goes. there. Beautiful. Waited to clear everything out, and now it's going to create that path. So it looks like Judo Sloth still going after the Builder's Hall here. Right. 
Yeah, I mean, he's at 45%, oh, oh. so he's sitting really, really strong right now. Oh, no. Battle Machine, Battle Battle Machine right working his way around. Machine Hopefully, he'll turn left. in here. Yeah. Looks like he is going to continue going around, but it's all right because he's at 48%, just needs another thing, and yeah, there there's is the, the star. star for him. So exactly. Easy. Interesting, though, speaking of AI and pathing, that camp got in the way of the Battle Machine going in and going after the Builders. Right. All. He got it anyway Ooh. and grabbed the two stars, so impressive to wrap up this attack. Yeah. And uh, the last dragon... Looks like it's going to be 59% two-star. 59% two-star. So that means Judo Sloth is going to take that first victory. Yep, Judo Sloth is up 1-0. But again, it's best uh, two out of three. Best two out of three. So, And I believe the way we're going to go here next is Judo Sloth is going to be attacking first. Right. But there is you know, somewhat of an advantage, disadvantage to whether you go first or second. Right. Obviously, if I would always want to choose to go second, see what the other guy does first. can right. really alleviate the pressure, especially like you saw in that first battle. Yeah, the first match when Klaus didn't even get a star, <laughs> Judo just knew all I needed was that 50% to move in. But looks like he's been using yep. Giants and uh, some Night Witches this in here. our first look at the new Night Witch. Yes. Oh, loving, loving the uh, Night Witch, and those bats are so fast. Woo. Just devastation. Yes, they are. Now, it, it looks like um, Klaus has a different base, so he decided to go with one mm -hmm. in the top left corner and it's a completely different design as well and it looks like the battle machine is working its way around that double cannon is up there and that is going to do a lot of damage to the battle machine yeah that's really all the cannons are tough Ooh. exactly i mean the giants look like they're out of range the witch doing a good job of trying to get that down the rest Ooh. of the witch is badly damaged but they're still up and it looks like they're Ooh, oh the no, mortar is going to take out just three of the night witches at once oh man and that is the danger even though attacking from the far side that multi mortar really can reach out and touch a night witch right. did right there it touched three of them and they just got wiped out and it doesn't look like there's anything oh the night oh, witch is coming, coming back. back down she's coming back she's now, coming back down so now there's something that can actually do damage look, to the oh, builders look at the hall bats down there going straight to the builders hall the giant's going to tank that archer tower the battle Oof. machine is up and she's going to be out of range oh my gosh Oh, look at her. She's going to be out there. of range. The, now, if no, the multi-mortar, the multi -mortar, if it goes after the giant here, it, oh, oh there he's goes gone. The <laughs> oh, he's, the and last the three went after is, the night oh, witch. Man. Oh, oh, and it's going to go it. down. Wow. Wow. Oh, then she got sprung off the map. Wow, no 65%. Did she take down the Builder's Hall, then she got sprung off the map by a spring trap <laughs> right after the Builder's Hall went down. 65%? Two yeah, 65% wow, two star attack right there. Right there. Solid percentage, and again, uh, like we were talking about, that's what Klaus knows he has to face now. Yeah. He's got to get the Builder's Hall, and he's got to get nearly two-thirds of this base down. Right, so he's got he definitely has an intense match before him. He's got to do a little bit better than he did that first one. Exactly, and it's definitely not like he can hear us right now and feel <laughs> any of the pressure that we might be applying to him in this sort of situation. Not to mention the crowds, all the viewers and fans at home, his clan members, his family. Right, everyone's watching. Santa, he's at home. <laughs> All right, so Klaus getting ready, and again, so 65% two-star. Right. So these guys, you know, also maybe the nerves start to wear off. They're going to get into this, get into the rhythm today. Ooh. And uh, here we go again, we go. Big looking at core. a brand-new base. Very big core in the center, yeah. so it's going to be interesting if he does go in with ground troops again. Obviously, those crushers are spread out fairly well, as well as that roaster. So he's going to have to uh, figure things out here very quickly. Yep, I mean, that's one of the great things about this is you do have the 60 seconds to prepare and to kind of, you know, take a look at exactly how you want to approach the base, what, you know, changing up the army camps. That's one of the coolest right. things I love about the Builder's Hall, the fact that you can go in and then change your army. You don't have to be yeah. stuck to an army after you've already, you know, found the base you want to attack. That's definitely where you're going to find skill in the players is being able to look and examine a base and get it right the first time. That's one thing that I've noticed is a lot of these guys, when they play the first time, they might not do so well, but the other ones, as they progress, they kind of figure the base out. But it's that first one that matters. Exactly. You only get one chance of this. And here we go. So Klaus is on the attack, and he's already got all of the witches down and the bombers. He's got two giants left that he hasn't deployed yet. Yeah, he's got to get those in front of those night witches. They're going to go, one's going to get, two of them are going to go in on the left with the battle machine. Battle machine's about to go yep. down right oh, there. Oh, man, battle machine's down early, and those witches are so high value. You really watch every single witch when you're deploying yeah. them because keeping them up is key. Ooh, every single witch is very important. Taking down that low-range archer. archer tower right there was good. Oh, and the now, roaster. Ooh, the she cannon over there fried. taking her out. That's oh, my be... goodness. The roaster just fried those last two night witches. Another 42%. All right, well, that's it. That's Judo it. Sloth picks up the first round victory. There he is celebrating. And Judo that was a tough one right on. there.
All right, so the first match is concluded. We have yep. our first semifinalist. All right, we've got Judo Sloth and Klaus, and Judo Sloth took it home. I believe that for him, his his defense obviously was really, really good in that, along with his attack. Oh, man, those bases, I'm telling you. that's uh, that's I just can't get over these new base designs. I'm no. going to be taking screenshots. <laughs> it's a lot of fun seeing what they come up with, but let's yeah. go ahead and talk to the uh, the players over there. Klaus, how you feeling, man? About as good as you'd expect. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think you could have done different? Um... Honestly, I mean, Judo's defense, I mean, obviously you learn right. defense in Judo, you know, but <laughs> his defense was solid, and, right. you know, I, I misclicked a, probably a couple, like, didn't misclick, but just, you know, a little bit of nerves, a little bit of giddiness, excitedness, and uh, his attacks were also pretty awesome. He had a little luck, that, that <laughs> night witch getting on that town hall, builder hall, and, and just taking it out, that was beautiful. So yeah. he beat me defensively and offensively. Right. Good job, man.